So, uh, Coach, uh, good morning to you. I hope everything is going well. How's how's everything this morning for you? It's great this morning. Good morning to you. Thank you, as always, for joining us on the teleconference. Uh, this is, again, the tournament time for you guys coming up. Um, you're in the number seven seed. Can you just give us your thoughts on, you know, your seating and the and the bracket and how you got to the point where you are facing South Alabama tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I think that, um, you know, we started off the, the conference at, at Georgia Southern and got a win, uh, 1-0, and and then we lost five in a row, um, you know, and I think kind of hit a little low there. We had some injuries and we had some people playing out of position a little bit and um, had a hard time gelling, I guess. But I think the last half of the conference uh, games, you know, we've come together, we've been playing uh, better. I think that people more understand their roles maybe uh, as well, and we're healthier, um, you know, even though we did just lose. Uh, we actually just lost another player at Arkansas State. We lost K.K. Williams, who was who's actually been a starter for two years uh, with a knee injury, um, but we've had some others be able to come back uh, and be able to play. So, you know, we've we've kind of fought that injury bug. I think the whole year, uh, maybe more than I than I've ever fought it. Um, you know, but I think we've had some other players step up and and do some other things. So, at this time of the year, you know, I think we're as healthy as we're going to be uh, heading into the tournament. Uh, you know, excited about the opportunity in New Orleans. Coach, you played South Alabama twice this year. You split the season series. Um, what are your thoughts on taking on the number ten seed Jaguars? You know, I think they're they're a very good basketball team. I think, um, you know, they've got a lot of uh, different pieces. Um, their defense is really good. Um, you know, they don't let you score many points. They they make you take shots that you're not comfortable uh, taking. They've got a great shot blocker on the inside. They've got some players that can shoot the ball uh, and players that can drive it as well. And, you know, I think it's a tough matchup for us. Uh, obviously we split with them. Uh, they beat us at our place and we beat them at their place. But, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a challenge for us. I think they're playing really well, um, you know, down the stretch here as well. Um, and, you know, we're going to have to be ready to play for sure. Coach, you had a couple of student athletes honored today on the All Sun Belt team. We'll start with the freshman of the year in Jada Lewis. Uh, this is the second straight year you've had a freshman of the year, but what has Jada really brought to your team this year? You know, I think uh, as good a basketball player as she is, I think really her mentality is what has helped our our team and our program more than anything. I mean, she expects to win and, and she wants to win every time she goes out there on the floor and she practices that way every day uh, and plays that way every day. Um, you know, and I, I think that's been the greatest thing. And then her work ethic and, you know, she puts a lot of time into it, watching a lot of film, uh, putting a lot of shots up and, and doing a lot of things. And, and on top of everything that she does really well, the most important thing to her is to win. And she's very unselfish. She doesn't care who does, uh, who gets the points or, or anything like that. She just wants to win the basketball games. And, Coach, another one of your honorees was the newcomer of the year um, in uh, Tiffany Holston. She averaged almost a double-double this year, but what else did um, she bring to your team this year? Well, I'll tell you, she brought some leadership. Being a graduate student, uh, having already played uh, three years at, at Division II level and, and being a great player at that, I think that, you know, she brought in some maturity to us. I think she brought in uh, – she's very athletic, very good defensively, makes a lot of things happen and, and, you know, really can rebound the ball, can move, can do a lot of things uh, for us. I think that um, – you know, she's come in as well and, and gives us ener energy on the floor and can make plays and down the stretch can come up with big rebounds and, and big buckets. And, and uh, you know, I think she's been a pleasure and it's really been, uh, you know, really a fortunate situation that we were able to get her uh, for this one year. And I wish I had her more years, to tell you the truth. <laughs> And, uh, Coach, uh, this is, you know, not your first time being in New Orleans uh, for this tournament, but um, what's your what's your plans and uh, what's your experience been like in the in the travel and the experience here in New Orleans? Yeah, I think New Orleans is a great place uh, for the tournament. I think they do a really good job of, uh, you know, making it a great 
atmosphere for the student athletes and for the programs. And so, you know, I'm really excited about about uh, coming down there and, and taking a lot of our players. You know, we weren't able to go last year. We were out um, and, and didn't have an opportunity. So we have a lot of players that have not been down there and have not experienced it. Um, so we're looking forward to it. We're coming down this afternoon, um, you know, and, and hopefully going to stay a long time. So we're looking forward to it and, and being ready to play tomorrow as well. Great. Well, thanks, Coach. We appreciate your time this morning as always, and best of luck in your uh, travels and stay down here in New Orleans. All right. Thank you so much. Yep, thank you. And, again, that was uh, Head Coach Sharon Baldwin of Georgia State.